Rishi Sunak insists UK doing great things internationally after Harry Jai. Rishi Sunak insists the UK is doing great things after Prince Harry's called Jai that its global reputation was at rock bottom. But the PM refuses to criticize Prince due to long standing convention of staying out of royal affairs. So, guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified. Whenever I post a new video, consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Rishi Sunak leaped to the defense of Britain's global reputation today after an astonishing attack on his government by Prince Harry. The Prime Minister used interviews on a trip to the US to say the UK government was doing great things internationally. His defense came after the Duke of Sussex used a historic appearance at a witness at a high court to say the government's global standing was at rock bottom. Given evidence in a phone hacking case against the Mirror Group, the US-based Prince broke the Convention of Royals not commenting on politics. On a national level, at the moment, our country is judged globally by the state by our price and our government, but of which I believe are at rock bottom, Harry said. Asked about the comments in Washington, D.C. today, Mr. Sunok refused to break the mirror convention of politicians not commenting on royal affairs. But speaking to the BBC, he said, I'm pleased to announce today £14 billion of investment from US companies into the UK, supporting thousands of jobs. So I think that demonstrates the strength of the US relationship in particular. But look, around the world, we are the first European country to join the CPTPP trade partnership and alongside Australia and America a new AUK-US defense partnership. So I think we are doing a great th things internationally and people are noticing that and not least with our leadership on Ukraine. The Prime Minister used interviews on a trip in US to say UK was doing great things at the international level. Given evidence in a phone hacking case against the Miro Group, the US-based Prince broke the convention of royals not commenting on politics. Harry was today grilled over a boozy night at a sleazy strip joint and accused of speculating once again after admitting he was not sure if his phone was hacked. The Duke is suing Miro Group newspapers for damages over claims journalists and its titles use hacking, blogging and other illegal means to, of deception to write 140 articles published between 1996 and 2010. He repeatedly clashed with a case he representing the publisher during the second day of grueling cross-examination. Andrew Green told the Prince after one fractious exchange, could I just repeat what I said yesterday? This is about me asking you questions, not you asking me questions. Meanwhile, Harry repeatedly pushed back against the barrister's line of questioning, telling him several times, I will take your word for it. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.